Hello and welcome to the second part of my Minecraft C++ clone series. Right now you're looking at some new textures created by Photodiode from GitHub. In this part I work on tree generation, water, and a Minecraft style hotbar. I started off by generating some default Minecraft trees at random locations. Next, I added water below a certain height value. Water is harder to render than it would seem in OpenGL because of its semi-transparency. Water has to be rendered after the other blocks so that it can blend its blue color with the background color. Here's an example of what happens when water is rendered before other blocks. You can see that the water blends with the blue sky color, but not the other blocks behind it. Here's my second go at tree generation. The height and the leaves of these trees are determined by noise, so each tree is slightly unique. I added a hand block which took a lot of trial and error to position. I started working on a basic hotbar to show which blocks you have. I was forced to improve the rendering class structure in my code because of all these static textures. To finish off this part, I decided to try implementing a real procedural tree generation algorithm called ProcTree. What I'm showing right now is what the program is really designed for, but I simply determined where I should place blocks based on the outputted vertex data of the program. The world took a long time to generate, but I think ProcTree had some awesome results which I'll share with you now. 